Hello everybody, Debbie Dybovic here. So I wanted to give you some quick training on how to become an authority by being everywhere in the social media world. Now it's the latest thing everybody's trying to post here and there and I've actually created another training video that gives you some ideas of how to come up with all of that content. And this training video works along with this uh, little document that I've created that talks about some super easy ways of repurposing your content. So you look at different ones and you just think, how are they getting such a huge following? It seems like everybody's talking about them. Well, what they're doing is repurposing their content and there's some really quick trip, quick tips. So let's go through those so that you can get an idea. So um, the second page of this handout here is just saying the easiest, very, very easiest way to get started is just do a Facebook Live. Now I have to tell you that I'm trying to get over my phobias about being in front of a camera. Also working with a great coach that's helping me with that. Uh, shout out to Katrina. And what I've discovered is it's so much easier for us just to talk, just to be ourselves. But when I thought about uh, being on Facebook Live, I thought, oh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's not scripted. You can't edit it. Well, you actually can edit uh, your videos. Um, and then I just thought about, you know, what if people show up and I'm not, you know, just everything connected with it. Well, one little tip for you if you're feeling uncomfortable about doing Facebook Lives is do it at a time when you don't think other people are going to be on. You know, do it at midnight or six o'clock in the morning. You might get, depending on your following, you might get one or two people, which is okay actually because they want to connect with the real you. But anyway, that's what I started doing. It's like, you know what? I'll do a Facebook Live when nobody else is around. And then what you can do is you can download that video and then make any uh, editing changes you need to it. You could cut out that, you know, that uh, picture at the very beginning, things like that. Then you can upload it back into Facebook and, you know, it looks a little more polished. So that's just one uh, tip for you. And again, as I mentioned, the second tip, it's so much easier for us just to talk. So, you know, come up with your little checklist of, excuse me, things that, you know, you want to talk about and just get in front of the camera and talk. It's so much easier than to try to sit down and do all of that writing. And then um, another tip that I have is as you're making these recordings, a um, couple tips. One, when you first start, pause just for a few seconds. And then when you finish, pause smile, look in the camera, pause for a few seconds. It just makes your editing so much easier. So instead of as soon as the light turns green and start talking, just build in those little pauses and it makes the editing a breeze for you. And again, make sure that you try to speak slowly and clearly so people can understand what you're talking about. And just come up with a little bullet point. You could stick it on your computer with the the main tips that you want to talk about. So that's just some notes on recording that initial video. And then on this uh, next sheet here, this is actually a little uh, clickable. Love those little check marks. Um, so what you do is once you've created your Facebook Live, uh, what you do is you download it. And I have other videos, if you're interested, that actually go through the whole nine yards of how to download the video and get the link and all of that kind of stuff. But basically, you record your, um, your Facebook Live, and then you download it. So check, that's done. And then you get the Facebook link. Check, that's done. Then you upload to rev.com. Now there's a couple of other sites around that are um, even cheaper than rev.com. I really like this service because they're very accurate. Uh, they uh, charge a dollar a minute. So if you have a 10 minute Facebook Live for 10 bucks, 
you can have all of that transcribed and they do it usually I get mine back within a few minutes you know I think they say it could take up to a few hours if it's fairly short you get it back in a quick amount of time while uh, all that's happening so I get that uploaded to Rev uh, while that's happening what I do is you know I do some uh, just quick little edits to my Facebook Live, so I probably cut off that beginning and the end, you know, where you've got that goofy look on your face. And then I upload it to YouTube. Now, the same thing with YouTube, I was a little hesitant at first of putting things out there. You know, it's like, well, I only have two or three videos. It's amazing, though, if every time you create something in video, if you upload it before you know it, you're going to have a whole repository of. Uh, videos whatever it is you talk about and you just keep doing it and guess what the message gets out and you might get a following on YouTube I'm still growing my YouTube channel I have a lot of work to do but I thought I'm not gonna wait for perfection I'm just gonna upload it and be done with it so again while I'm waiting for my transcript to come back I upload my video to YouTube I have another little training video that talks about how to create a custom YouTube cover. Uh, you know, it's all about branding, so I, I have a little template, very easy, literally takes me like one minute to update that template with a new title of that uh, YouTube video. And that goes on the top of the video, so you have this nice polished look, uh, makes you look really professional. So check for that. And then by the time you get done with that, your transcript is probably ready. You get a little email and a link. So then you download that uh, transcript and you make some minor editing changes to it. I have a folder that I save and in that folder are uh, like the starts of, of documents. And then from there, uh, what I do is I can ramp out that document. I can add a little more to it more at the beginning and the end or whatever and then um, whoops let me check that out and then all of a sudden you've got a great article that you can upload to LinkedIn you can also repurpose that article for your blog uh, make sure when you have your blog post that you send an email or send a link to your email list that was something that I hadn't thought about doing I don't know why um, I guess I just thought that magically people would find my blog. So that's something I do now. Um, so every time I write an article, I publish it as a blog. Then I send it out to my email list. Um, you could create and send an article to Quora or, you know, the list goes on and on. Uh, so just keep repurposing. You might need to tweak the article a little bit based on um, where you're sending it to be published. And last but not least, you can use that content to uh, create a slide deck. And all of a sudden, hey, you've got a new webinar that you can publish. So look at all of these different areas that you could repurpose your content. And we haven't even talked about a couple other things you can do. You could just uh, snag one or two sentences, turn those into a quote or, you know, a little paragraph and make that into um, a blog uh, or not a blog, but a Facebook post. I mean, the list just goes on and on. So, um, I'll be really interested to see um, how you're utilizing this. So I just wanted to let you know that um, most of you, if you're seeing this document, you're already um, in the group, Systems to Scale. And what I like to let people know in case they don't know that much about me, my passion really is to empower women, uh, entrepreneurs, to build a scalable, sustainable business. Uh, my background is in IT and systems and also a uh, professor. I've been a professor for 20 some years and I love to be able to help entrepreneurs take all of their knowledge and create a plan for them so that they can build their business, uh, help them with the techie side of stuff. What I find is that most people, they just need a little help. 
you know, yeah, you're never going to maybe be a programmer or anything like that. That's not in your uh, zone of ex excellence or genius zone. Uh, but you just need a little help to get you started to get some of these pieces in place. And that's where I can help you. So I have one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching programs. I also have some online courses that's tied into accountability groups. So if you're ready to really take your business to the next level, I would love to um, work with you. Jump on the phone with me. I have free automation audit calls so that we can just see where you're at and see where that I can help you. So give me a, a thumbs up um, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube. I'll have the links down below so that you could join the Facebook group uh, so you could grab this um, uh, little toolkit. And also if you want to sign up for uh, a free automation audit. All right. Well, you guys have a great day and I can't wait to see what uh, you're doing with all of your content. See you later.